take a full coverage foundation by CoverGirl. This is the Ready, Set, Go foundation and work that in all over my skin to give me full coverage. And when I say full coverage, that usually means you can't see a lot through the foundation. It's gonna make my skin look flawless. Filling in the eyebrows, and I've been doing that a lot lately with a more full coverage brow, a lot of full coverage for this look for going out. And when I fill in my brows, I usually start from the inner corner and I picked up some matte eyeshadow to do this and fill in all the sparse areas. Here I am taking one of my favorite pigments by MAC. This color makes my eyes pop so much. It's a beautiful rose gold shade. And I'm using a flat shader brush just to pack on this color. And I usually like to wet it a little bit, my brush, when I use a pigment. Anytime you do that, it's gonna show up a lot stronger and make the color really vibrant here. So I'm also gonna take a warm brown color and this is Buck from the Urban Decay Naked Brown or Naked Palette and any warm brown medium tone shade would go great in the crease. It's just gonna buff out those edges so it doesn't look harsh. And I'm also gonna take it underneath the eyes as well. Uh, it's gonna make it a little smokier underneath and I'm just using the same soft brush. I'm taking a gel liner and it is a water resistant gel liner which is always good. This is by Bobbi Brown and I'm tracing my line with a very fine tip so I get a lot of control and I take my time with this guys. I don't ever rush my liner. Winged liner can be really hard so I just do it in a couple dashes to cover across the eyelids. Then when I get to the outside I extend the line towards the outside of my eyebrow and then I just bring it over and kind of fill in the triangle so it definitely takes a couple uh, parts to do it and then actually when I want the cat eye to be a little bit more precise I use my fingernail to give it a nice sharp edge taking a very lengthening mascara and doing quite a bit of coats here I usually coat up my mascara um, quite a bit and I like to do that to layer underneath false eyelashes, which I'm about to go in with a second, and um, I prefer putting that mascara before so it doesn't disrupt the lashes. And I'm using the Ardell Wispies, my all-time favorite lashes, and they're so affordable, and then just some white adhesive glue to attach them right to the top layer of my skin there. Next, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting and concealing at the same time. So I have a shade lighter than my foundation and this is gonna help um, brighten the underneath area, underneath area and make my eyes really pop. And I'm just gonna blend that in with a blender brush. This is a full coverage concealer, which I really like, but you have to make sure you blend it out really well so it doesn't look too heavy. And so that's why I really like these Samantha Chapman brushes to help me do that. Just gonna emphasize the inner corners of my eye with that tan pigment again. It's gonna really open up the eye area and just make the eyes pop even more. And here I am taking some bronzer. It's a really soft powder, which makes it very easy to blend. So if I make any mistakes, I can actually quickly just buff it out. And um, I am using a smaller powder brush. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going for a more contoured look. So to achieve that, you want a smaller brush to kind of get those defining uh, sort of strokes that you want. So I'm focusing on the cheek area, the temple, and as well as the jawline, kind of like in a three shape down my face. So I don't want my skin to look too powdery, so I actually took a cream blush by NYX, and it's just a really nice coral color, and it kind of complements the rose gold on my eyes and then the lip color that we are about to go in with. Now that we've done all the makeup the rest of the, the face, the lips are the last bit here. And you guys may know, notice that I've been filling my lips in with just liner lately. And I just love that look, especially because in the summertime, I find that it stays the best is just by applying liner, just like a gorgeous matte lip that it gives. So this one in particular has been amazing and you don't even need a sharpener to sharpen it. 
And that's gonna complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick get ready with me video. This has been a go-to makeup look for me for going out. It's quick and easy, and I really like the whole shiny eyelids with the matte lip. Let me know if you guys give this video a try, and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you check out my last two videos. You can click the screen now, and it'll take you right to the videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care, bye.